Skywatch Media News for March the 26th, 2022. Over the past few days, scientists recording temperature variations from both the North and the South Pole have observed a bizarre anomaly taking place, an event that seems virtually impossible, but one that is now being labeled by climatologists as historical in nature. On March 22nd, Major news outlets were reporting that unprecedented heat waves were occurring from both of the Earth's poles simultaneously, with scientists sounding the alarm that this could signal a disruption in the Earth's climate systems, leading to an abrupt climate breakdown. Temperatures in Antarctica reached record levels during the weekend of March 18th, reaching an astonishing 40 degrees Celsius above normal in parts of the ice shelf. This appears to be Antarctica's answer to the North American heat dome, which took place in the summer of 2021, most notably in the Pacific Northwest. Vostok, located at the center of the eastern ice sheet, hit minus 17.7 Celsius, greatly surpassing the previous records by nearly 15 degrees Celsius. The average temperature for Vostok in March is minus 53 degrees Celsius. In Concordia, the high recorded was minus 12.2 Celsius, breaking its all-time record temperature by 1.5 degrees. Temperatures in this area during the months of March and April have never reached beyond minus 30 Celsius in its recorded history. Meanwhile, the Arctic region at the northernmost point of Earth also witnessed an unusual surge in temperature. It was reported to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the average for this time of the year, creeping close to the melting point, which is strange for this region during the early spring season. The temperature was also 6 degrees higher than the average yearly temperature. The weather anomaly is an alarming occurrence because the two poles are at opposite seasons and would not undergo melting at the same time. It's almost as if the heat and moisture from the lower latitudes are suddenly being transported towards the pole. In all likelihood, the temperature anomaly at the poles has rewritten what was previously considered impossible for some of the coldest places on the planet. Of actual importance are the climate conditions at the poles. They are very sensitive. The impact of climate change is seen more rapidly in this region than it is in the rest of the world. Specifically, the Arctic region is a subject of a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. Here the melting of glaciers and sea ice trigger a feedback loop which causes warming to continue. Consequently, the Arctic as a whole is warming three times faster than the rest of the world. As for Antarctica, it's a bit more complex. Unlike the North Pole, it has a thin stretch of land forming the Antarctic Peninsula. On top of its landmass is an unstable ice sheet. It is from this region that warming is occurring five times faster than the rest of the world. The recent climate conditions being observed from the Arctic and Antarctica is cause for concern, as are the extreme weather events. Extreme events happening around the world are exceeding the model projections, which is a worrisome sign, and probably explains why so many of today's events are being labeled as unprecedented. It appears that the latest weather patterns at the poles follow closely in the footsteps of the alarming heat waves from last year. As mentioned previously, a major heat dome hovered over North America in the Pacific Northwest and parts of Canada during the summer of 2021. Record temperatures were recorded that surpasses previous records by several degrees. During that time, temperatures rose to nearly 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 
becoming the most extreme heat that this part of the world has ever experienced. In Norway, the temperatures reached record levels, with even warmer temperatures recorded in Greenland and in the Russian archipelago. As it was, the world was shocked by the number and the severity of the extreme weather anomalies from around the world during the early summer of 2021. What the record temperatures in the Arctic are showing us is that we have entered into a new and more extreme phase of climate change that is taking place much earlier than we had expected or anticipated. There is another consequence of our changing climate currently taking place on the Antarctic continent involving bird populations. Back in 1990, there were some 180,000 Antarctic petrels nesting at the Sparta Marine Mountain. By the year 2020, that number had dwindled to less than 100,000. And today, in just the past two years, there are now none to be found. This is their breeding season in Antarctica, but the petrels have disappeared. It's a shocking discovery for the simple fact that this region of Antarctica, 200 miles from the Southern Ocean, is known for having the largest colony of Antarctic petrels in all of the world. It appears that the reason for their disappearance is twofold. Severe storms combined with poor access to food. Antarctica has experienced extreme weather in recent years, inhibiting the ability for the birds to nest. The harsh conditions, combined with their inability to locate enough food while out at sea, have stressed the birds to the point where they can no longer cope. Researchers now believe that the bird disappearance is a strong indicator that something serious is about to happen in the southern ocean as it pertains to the marine ecosystem. But whether the bird phenomenon can be linked directly to a climate condition is difficult to determine because of the variations in Antarctica. For instance, on some parts of the continent, the sea ice increases while diminishing on other parts. The same is true of sea temperature. So it's a complex situation, and one that cannot be easily determined at this time. Space scientists recently released the sharpest and most detailed image of the sun and its outer atmosphere that has ever been taken, revealing the corona that envelops the star, reaching nearly 2 million degrees Fahrenheit. The solar orbiter that was launched back in February of 2020 took the picture on March the 7th. The spacecraft captured the image within the orbit of Mercury, at around 47 million miles from the sun. The extreme ultraviolet imager takes pictures of such high spatial resolution that at such a close distance, a mosaic of individual images was needed to cover the entire sun. Each captured one after another over a period of four hours. The orbiter is studying the sun's magnetic activity and the solar wind which produces space weather. Scientists are hoping to get a better grasp on forecasting solar activity, since their abilities are limited at this time. They are also counting on the orbiter, providing clues as to what causes the corona's extreme heat. Although the corona is quite far from the sun's surface, the outer atmosphere is hundreds of times hotter. This defies most physics, because in most cases, the temperature drops when moving further from the heat source. Take but a moment to look to the sky. All of us need to see above us so that we may understand and remember that we must seek for something much deeper and much higher than our simple lives on this planet. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching, and always keep looking to the sky.